Then we go back to Lana. Lana, 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 Lana. Uh, soon this piece of equipment will be replaced by Lana's unique armor because that's the one I am planning to buy. Nothing comes even remotely close in difference, in power difference to that one. Uh, the Elwyn sword is good, but uh, other swords are also good. Almeda's trinket uh, is very interesting for anyone who uses Almeda a lot. Uh, and I don't use Matthew at all, and I don't use the Hatter either. But I have to say, this one is very, very interesting. Especially in PvP, this could be super destructive. But my Dehearter is, is really limited. Okay, so we are up to 120 points. That means we should either get the two pointer, uh, the 10 pointer here, or both. Oh god, I skipped it. I'm so sorry. Try again. Actually, we can even check the feats. Lester defeats Elwyn. Oh god, do we have to play with Lester? Send no more than two heroes into battle. We are so not going to do this. All NPCs survive. Oof, that's that's a tricky one. Lester, stop this meaningless fight. Let's end these disputes. What? Wasn't it the Empire who got the whole land in Proiling War? Only by destroying the darkness with absolute military might can the land have any hope of achieving peace. Do you understand now? Nope. Not a clever guy. Maybe I don't understand some of these complex principles, but at least I understand basic loyalty. Loyalty between friends. Loyalty between master and apprentice. Blah blah blah. Loyalty to your men! Blah blah blah. So, I'm sorry, but it seems like this war between us is unavoidable. Okay, um, we are not gonna use our Lester. Um, I could equip Lester with Cherry's gear, I guess, but uh, I, I don't want. This does look a lot like a Timeless Trial SS. So we could maybe engage it in the same way. <laughs> maybe we actually use Lester. Is it Lester defeats Ewin? No, okay, Lester is never ever going to defeat Ewin. How is that even remotely possible? My god. So our goal is that no ally is killed, right? Okay. Um, we still may want to use Lester for his special purpose, of course. So we hook here. Does does Leon have... Oh, he doesn't have chivalry. So maybe we do this, we do this. How many turns do we have? It doesn't say. Uh, that sucks. Okay, we modify this, we bring this, we remove this, and we put it back because I don't know what I need. And then I bring Leon, and that will be our team. Well, let's see if this works. Uh, at the very least, I, what I'm trying here is to uh, hook them in one by one and then punch with everyone as soon as I can. Uh, and that should maybe do it. Danger zones. Turn on. Move in. Move in. I guess I could have started with pulling turn one. So maybe next time we do that. So move here. Pull. Chivalry here. Punch. Move here. Punch with all the aquatic units and hopefully win. Oh my god, the aquatic units have their own hooks. Wait, no, only this one. Okay, I should have checked what they can do. Supply increases your aquatic unit's defense by 40%, reduces magic damage taken by 30% and restores HP. That's okay, to all? Aquatic units. Okay, so Lester's main form could get the buff, but we don't have that. Fair enough. Okay. The enemy moves. That's already horrible. Everything is wrong with this. Leon has strike. That's also horrible. Leon strikes our Leon. We're dead. That's really cute. But it didn't work the way I wanted. Okay. Back we go. Um, I'm still gonna give it a shot. Because I really don't want to load everything back. Three, one, two, three. So this line is forbidden. Good. Move over here and let's do the faction buff. 
I think basically that's what it is. It's a faction buff. So Leon charges in, finds no target. And Lester pulls. Um, let's do sleep. And let's punch. That did absolutely nothing. What is this passive? Okay. Um, we go for this. That's a good punch. So sleep, uh, showing its value. Having Lester not showing its value. Oh no, what did I do? I thought that was just the water walk. Oh god, someone disappeared. Lester. All NPCs survive, okay. Yeah, sure. But this is not gonna work out. Um, so first of all, what did we do? Aqua Illusion. Imbues all aquatic units with the tidal search effect. Oh god, that was amazing. Okay, I understand. So this is the level where you're supposed to have pirates and uh, I should have activated all faction buffs with everyone at the same time because that's what the game intends us to do. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cancel. That's perfectly fine. I'm not gonna bring Lester. That was a complete waste. Even though we could try to get the achievement, there's no way we actually get the achievement. And I am also going to bring um, Liana. To do some again shenanigans and whatnot. Okay. Step back. Step forth. Step in the middle. Step together. Give everyone aquatic movement. This person can give everyone attacking skills, I think. Yep, and then... So all three of them provide the faction buff when together, basically. And that's what, that's also why it lasts five turns, so that you can measure it that way. Leon comes in, gets nothing. And then I can do my own things by moving here and sleeping Leon, which was really good last time. And here we start. A nice first punch. Second punch. That was really good. Oh, we even get move again. That's nice. And then we'll do a third punch over here. It's very decent. And then this person will punch now. And do I even want to again anyone at this point? This person could move over there and punch even once again. Let's do that. I like that they're trying to make us use uh, aquatic units. It's only a shame that aquatic units are most of the time very hard to put into good use. I'm not gonna say garbage, that's a bit too mean. But my god is it hard. Let's see. That's very good tanking. Are they going all in on this unit? Yes they are. That's perfectly fine because this unit is capable of tanking everything. So what we're gonna do now is uh, this. Okay. 
followed by this which should help a lot against what's coming which I guess is uh, this person's attack um, should I focus Vargas? I mean Vargas has to die right? you cannot just let him live but basically so does uh, Eggbear I guess we can also distribute the damage a little bit Punching Edwin is always good. Keep Leon away. This is too dangerous. Make sure Edwin cannot heal. Give him Ancient Evil. Um, I made the perfect shape for his AoE. Not a smart person. Liana is very dead. Extremely unsmart. Person survives. Gets healed. That's good. Elwin helps me kill him. Thank you. And then that's the actual problem. So, what does... Okay, so we triggered a clock, at least, at the very least, on uh, the earthquake, which is fine. We're gonna use this to kill Elwin. <laughs> or not. Or, or not at all. Uh, which means we're gonna have to punch him, but... Uh, Vargas will pick up the tab, which is fine because then we're gonna punch. Should I try to punch Vargas? Even without the. Oh god, this is not gonna do anything. So the thing that matters the most to me right now is to escape the wrath of Imelda. And I think maybe by doing this, I get it done. And maybe if I'm lucky, get a Vargas kill too. Oh no. There goes Leon, that's fine. Please remember, um, the target feat is all NPCs survive. And I think, I think that one we can do. Good, Vargas decided to suicide, because that's a lot more fun than winning. And then Bozel can apply Earthquake here, and then remain safe from counterattacks. Oh, he even gets the Elwin, that's very cool. Uh, who is more dangerous? Easy answer. And even if Imelda goes for uh, Bozel, Bozel is not likely to die from a first magical attack, especially from full health. Because he's basically made of magic defense. I would say that this fight is over. Fight's over! That makes it even better. Maybe we get a, a clock. Maybe not. Let's see if we can still take care of Imelda with the remains of our faction buffs. But I think maybe a round of buffing is in order. That makes sense. So we start right now while Imelda is done. Move Bozel to safety. Faction buff. Faction buff. And let's go! Okay, that's a good punch, but it's not enough. Huh? Alright! I think we got it done. And... That should give us exactly the amount of points that we need to claim the item. All NPCs survive. Done. Points, points, points. 150! We did it! Alright, let's go claim our prize, shall we? Black Bride. 
Oh, so they did this, and then the their uh, bright skins are actually white for Lana. Ah. HP 1% when attacked. Infli uh, okay, uh, you should know that this translation is wrong. It's uh, when entering combat, it works just the same way as uh, Bernie's hegemony. And that means whenever she attacks or gets attacked, uh, basically when she enters the combat animation thing, uh, it will inflict before the battle one powerful debuff on the attacking unit. And this makes her insanely strong when using Astaroth, because uh, whomever you attack will immediately trigger the Astaroth uh, power-up phase version, and you can even get a 30% chance to stun on single target attacks. Basically, this and Astaroth enchants Lana with uh, half 30% uh, chance to stun on every attack that you do, which is insane. No regrets, purchase, be happy and our points are back to zero. I have no idea how to collect new points, but all I know so far is that free-to-play players like us, or like most of us, will only be able to claim one item. Uh, if there is a paid version to do things later, we will see, but this is it for now. And uh, that's actually something I do not know. How is it that you can get Okay, it's not here where you get the skins for... Oh god, I misclicked. Where you get the skin vouchers, right? Yeah, it's not here. Okay, so that will be it for our initial attempts on Reversals of Fate. Maybe one day we'll revisit this to... Uh, to get the rest of the points, just because perfect things make me happy. And I would like now to explore a little bit of the Trails in Time. Uh, event and for that I am going to bring down the video for one second so that Twitch makes me a separate video and that can be later uploaded to YouTube. I'll see you right back. 